What makes a good barista? Well, the passion is so important. They've got to be passionate. They've got to want it. You know, if they don't want it, they may as well give up. And you can tell, like you can go to a cafe and someone could be really good at making coffee, but if the passion's not there, I actually don't believe you get the same product. These passionate baristas are no strangers to the evolving coffee culture in Wollongong. Lee Sullivan was at the forefront of the boutique coffee outlet becoming a trend in the gong. Opening in 2008, his cafe Lee and Me sparked a great dialogue with consumers. And people that understand boutique coffee know what goes, goes on behind the scenes with the training, um, the coffee beans themselves and the baristas and whatnot. So, yeah, to know that you are going to get a good cup of coffee every time you go there, I think that is the real draw card because um, coffee is something that people have on a daily basis. Mel Cox is about to embark on a coffee venture of her own. She's the brains and hands behind the machine at the soon to be opened Sifters Container Bar Cafe. And it's her aim to start a greater dialogue among the baristas across Wollongong. The coffee industry is changing so much. There is so many things for us to learn. Everyone is using different beans, different ways to extract the coffee. At the moment, I feel like there's so much that we can offer each other and that brings people together in the coffee community, which I think is incredible. It may not look like much at the moment, but Sifters Cafe is about to be transformed into one of the first coffee cupping sessions Wollongong has seen. Cupping is the process of analysing coffee based on its sensory qualities. Take one group of enthusiastic coffee lovers and baristas, treat them to 10 different types of coffee from across the globe, and the dialogue has well and truly started. It was really cool to see those people like joining forces and hopefully we can do a lot more events like that, especially with because there's some extremely talented people in this town that are doing some really cool roasts and yeah, we should work together. There's always things you can learn from other cafes and other baristas. Um, yeah, it, it's totally important and I, I feel like I always grow as a barista when I meet and talk with people from other cafes. It was just really nice to have people around here and kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like giving me a new burst of energy.